All right, people, this is the watch list video for Monday, November 21st. Quick reminder for those that don't know, uh, Thursday's Thanksgiving, the market will be closed, and I think it closes at 1 o'clock on Friday. Um, so, you know, we could have a dead week with a holiday coming up. I still think there'll be stuff to trade. Um, so that's what we'll do. We'll be in front of the screens looking for stuff, right? Um, this Friday, or last Friday, I should say, some pretty neat little calls in chat. Uh, I'm going to show you a couple. Keep in mind, I put a highlight video from the week. Hopefully, did a good job explaining the why we traded what we traded and explanation of uh, why we entered where we entered and all that. I kind of went over some highlights from the week. I'm trying to do that every Saturday morning. So check that out on my YouTube video or you may find it on my YouTube channel, I should say, or you may find it on my uh, on my Twitter page. I tweeted the video as well. So um, I'll give you a brief rundown of a couple from Friday, but uh, the video from this weekend hopefully did a pretty good job of explaining why we do what we do, right? I, in my opinion, you should have at least two, if not three or more reasons, chart-based reasons for every entry you take. If you're a day trader, this has nothing to do with investing. This is all about day trading, making money between the opening and closing bell. So anyway, um, let's see. DLO was back on watch again. Um, actually, I don't know if it was on the watch list, but I had it on a chart because of the great bounce it gave. Um on Thursday, right? So Friday, it topped out at 1161. I called it long back through 1150, knowing we had 1161 and then also Thursday's high of 1250-ish as potential catalyst on a stock that had already proven itself to move because it was probably way too oversold. Anyway, there's the 1150 break and it absolutely ripped. I actually took a screenshot um, of the chart of some people that took the trade with me. Um, and there, there's my screenshot of the actual call in chat. Obviously, before it triggered, that's what we do in chat. So anyway, that was DLO, GTLS. Um, I gave when we did the two o'clock, hey, what are we all watching, right? So it probably looked something like this. I said, I like a GTLS bounce play back through 123. And it ended up going out at the high of the day um, over 126. So at least a three to one R there because it was probably about a dollar risk. And DWAC, DWAC, um, who was it? Jacob D in chat gave the idea. And again, I talk about it in the video, um, kind of the misuse of course terminology with the two day high break comment, but fairly certain Jacob was pointing out, hey, if it gets through the high of day, you have the previous day's high above, right? Um, which would have been over 2063. And that was a great call too. Great heads up. I know some people, uh, I saw some people thanking Jacob. So I know some people did well on that. Anyway, there's some quick highlights, but let's get into the watch list video um, for Monday because again, I did a recap video that you can check out on YouTube from the entire week's trades. All right. Um, QH gapped up and topped out at 215 about a week ago and then on Friday topped out at 204. So super interesting over 204 with another catalyst just above. Um, GTLS already talked about the bounce play I called on that one on Friday. Um, you know, this is the first green candle since it was like 240 bucks and it's at, it closed at 126. So definitely looking for a potential long for that bounce to continue. CPNG was pointed out in chat on Friday and I, I can't remember who it was, my apologies. I did say, I think it was maybe Rich. I, I said, I, hey, I'm going to put this in my notes and put it on watch for Monday. Um, had a nice pop back here and it's really kind of flagging ever since. So let's keep our eyes on CPNG. DOCS had the breakout here on earnings and it's really just kind of coiled. So I'm going to put that on long watch. U, which is Unity Software, had a really nice pop on earnings and like a four day run and now it's kind of flagging. So putting that on long watch. ISEE -E gapped up. Uh, might have some shorts from down here caught. So we're going to put that on long watch. GPS is the gap stores. Topped out just over 14. Um, through 14 on Monday might make it interesting with Friday's high being 14.05 as a potential catalyst for higher prices, for short covering and all that. PRVB, um, I think it was halted and then came out of the halt, halted on news, came out of the halt gapping down. From what I saw, the news looked really good. Um, so look what happened. It gapped down or opened lower. Um, on the resumption sells off and then goes out at the high of day. So pretty neat turnaround there. I never did trade that on Friday, but I did put it in my notes and say, hey, we got to watch this one this week. Um, 
DLO already talked about that. I don't love this now for a trade because we've had two nice bounce plays in it um, Thursday and Friday. Um, but I'm going to put it on a chart. I don't know what to think of it. I really don't like the chart as much as I did. I like to you know, catch those early bounces. Now it feels like it's going to get played with by the algo. So I like it a little bit less, but I'm going to put it on a chart. ARDX gapped up on Thursday, sold off, and then on Friday gapped up a little bit and then ripped. So it's extended, but I'm going to put it on a chart. EH had a two-day run here that topped out at 523 and is kind of flagging ever since. Um, looks pretty interesting to me. And then COMP had a big rip. Uh, this would have probably been what, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday? No, this would have been last Friday probably. Monday, Tuesday, when yeah. So this was last Friday. Kind of bleeding lower ever since, but on much lower volume and it's kind of down near the 20 day now, putting that on bounce watch. Uh, we'll work together as we always do to add gappers in the pre-market on Monday. And between the gappers we add and this watch list and anything our scanners find on an intraday basis, there should be plenty to trade. Um, that's it for me. I'll see you all in the chat room on Monday.